Hey everyone, if you're trying to level up your social media game and outsmart the competition, you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to show you how to use SEMrush for social media competitor analysis. First off, let's start with what SEMrush actually is. SEMrush is an all-in-one marketing platform that specializes in helping businesses with SEO, PPC, content marketing, and of course, social media. What makes it great is that you can analyze competitors, uncover growth opportunities, and refine your marketing strategy all in one place. So, why should we use SEMrush for competitor analysis? SEMrush provides insight into your competitor's audience growth, engagement rates, top performing content, and much more. This data will help you develop a competitive strategy for your own social media presence. So basically, it's going to compare you and your competitor and then you could see what you're doing wrong or what you're doing right based on the statistics that it's going to give you. So how do we actually use it? Well, first you're going to want to add a competitor or more than one competitor. It's always better to add more than one competitor so you can actually see all of the information that you need in order to grow. So first go to social tracker and then tap on this green button that says add competitor. So here you can go on ahead and connect your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest. So connecting your social media onto this SEMrush website actually helps you track the social media growth for each different platform. You can add different companies or domains as your competitors and then track your growth against them. So I'm going to type something random like hello. And now we have a competitor over here. You can connect their social medias over here. And now we can start tracking companies. But before you do, make sure you connect something so you can have something to track. And so once you add a social media platform over here, it's going to search a certain company, the one that you added over here, and add their username over here. So we can go ahead and tap on start tracking companies. And then it's going to start gathering the data on both profiles, basically their posts, engagement, and different types of statistics that you would usually find in a social media platform. Maybe their followers, their views, their likes, their comments, every single type of engagement will be shown over here. So here we are. As you can see, this is the overview of both accounts or you can go ahead and tap on the first one and then tap on the second one if you want to find it. There you go. It shows the subscribers, publications, and engagements. So this is how you can compare them because it shows you each and every statistic. We can even go ahead and be specific by either tapping on Facebook or all of these other social media platforms, but all we've added is Pinterest. So let's go ahead and do that. And there you go. It shows these statistics. And if we go down even more, it's going to show all of the followers. And now here at the bottom, it compares our actual followers. And it even shows the change and the growth, maybe how fast this one is compared to this. But mainly, we're going to want to go to overview and then go down at the bottom to see the audience, activity, and engagement. Now, it shows us a bit of description like this one. Compare your audience across all connected social channels with the audience of your competitors. And for activity, compare your posting activity across all connected social channels. And engagement, compare your social content engagement across all social channels. So what do these mean? Well, basically, Audience shows you the growth of your competitor's followers over time. Activity reveals how often your competitors post content so you can compare their frequency with yours. And engagement gives you insight into how well their content is resonating with their audience. So if you go ahead and tap on activity, I don't think these two accounts post anything at all. But if your two competitors, you and yourself post anything at all, it's going to show you different statistics based on your competitors, whether you have higher statistics and they have lower or vice versa. Like I said earlier, it gives insight into how well their content is resonating with their audience. For example, in a YouTube video, if a person watches the whole video without skipping or leaving in the middle of it, that would mean the engagement is good and the video is actually good. And here it also shows the change and growth. I'm going to read them just in case how total social engagement has changed. So basically, it just shows you the differences and pretty much the changes like its name. And for growth, 
once again, how total social engagement has changed in comparison with the previous period. Once again, it's pretty self-explanatory, it's growth. So yeah, this is how you can compare with your competitors. Audience, activity, and engagement. Let's go to audience real quick so I can actually show you what these statistics look like. You can go on ahead and tap on this circle over here to hide it if you want to. But basically, this is the comparison. As you can see, the first one has more audience with a total of 390 and it shows more. And then the second one has a lower audience with a total of 182, meaning it has lower statistics. If you see change and growth in your statistics, that could determine which account is doing better. Because if you're an account with more audience than the other, but your growth is actually really slow, then the other smaller account has a better chance of growing their social media because growth actually matters. Change and growth matters. So that is the beauty of using SEMrush as a competitor because you can see all of the flaws in your engagement, in your social media platforms, and how you can fix them. So if you want to add more profiles than just Pinterest, you can actually do this by tapping on Add Profile in this Facebook one or Twitter or even Instagram. And then here you can show their engagement or engagement rate. And that's about it. I think I've explained every single one of these in the social tracker. Now let's move on to social analytics. Here in social analytics, it's going to show you every single profile that you've added to your SEMrush website. As you can see, account is right here, and then new followers, posts views, posts engagement, and engagement rate. Here, you'll be able to compare the performance of both your own social media accounts and those of your competitors. For instance, engagement rate is an important metric because it shows how actively your audience is interacting with your content. A high engagement rate means your audience is genuinely interested in what you're posting, and you can compare this against your competitors to see how you stack up. So if your competitor has a higher engagement rate, you should try to explore more ways or more ideas in approaching your social media growth. Now engagement rate, I'm pretty sure is the same as post engagement, but now let's move on to views. So post views is actually pretty self-explanatory. It shows the views of each and every video that you have and puts them here. And you could even add your competitors over here and their views would also be posted. So you could even compare that. And now for new followers, you could do that as well by simply adding a new profile, which is your competitor. And there you have it. That is how you can use SEMrush to conduct a thorough social media competitor analysis. Using tools like Social Tracker and Social Media Analytics, you can track everything from audience growth to engagement and adjust your strategy accordingly. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment if the tutorial worked or if you have any more questions. Thank you and goodbye.